Hello everyone, and welcome to an awesome episode of Biologic Science News. Today, I want to talk about a newly discovered species of ant that existed 98 million years ago, sometime during the Cretaceous period. The discovery of this hellish ant was made in Myanmar by Philip Barden and his colleagues at the New Jersey Institute of Technology in Newark. They're calling it a hell ant, or a vampire ant, for reasons that I'll discuss in a moment. The newly discovered species of ant has facial features that link it to modern species, including facial hairs around the mouth that trigger a response when they get touched. In modern ants, when their face hairs are triggered, it causes their mouth parts to snap shut. It's a physiological reaction sculpted by evolution to aid in capturing food. The general idea is that if something is wandering close enough to brush up against you, you should immediately engage in predation action, like snapping your jaws shut, so that you can maximize your chances at catching food. This is a lot like the hairs that are on the inside of the, the mouth pads of a Venus flytrap. When a bug lands on the plant and brushes against these little hairs, it triggers that closing mechanism, and the Venus flytrap snaps shut and eats its prey. Because these hell ants have these mouth hairs, it's believed that they worked in a similar way. But the thing that makes the hell ant special is that it has a wicked horn curling up above its mandibles. Philip Barden describes the horn as a stopping plate for the mandibles, like an anvil is to a hammer. When prey comes near and triggers the predation response by brushing against the facial hair, the ant's mandibles will stab upwards, and they'll pin the prey against the horn. Because this mechanism involves striking the horn itself, the hell ant's horn is reinforced with metal. It literally has a biological sword mounted on its face, and when the mandibles stab prey against the horn, against this biological sword, they create a blood gutter effect, where the disemboweled hemolymph, the guts and fluids of the prey insect, run down the funnel created by the mandibles into the ant's mouth. This metal-laced tissue exists in several modern species, which incorporate zinc or iron into their mandibles to make them particularly hard and sturdy. These hardcore metal vampire ants are speculated to have been apex insect predators in the Cretaceous period, using their metal horn and blood gutter mandibles to slurp out the guts of their prey. This is really one of those times that I'm just blown away. My, I'm just amazed with how awesome and hardcore biology can be. Philip Barden and his colleagues think that sometime soon, they'll be able to find another specimen out in the field, but this time with a prey insect caught inside the metal jaws, the moment of its death frozen in amber for nearly a hundred million years.